We're in the process at the moment of conscious competence, which means that we have to think very hard about the words that we use again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, there's, there's, hence the reason why for, there's a slight delay. And we all do it, we, we're just human, because we have to think the same as a child has to think when riding that bicycle for the first, second or third time. Mm -hmm. You know, how do I do this? What words do I therefore have, have to use mm -hmm. to make this an open question? So, first of all, outcome, what's my outcome? What do I want? Consider a presupposition that we use in linguistics, which is the answer that you, the answer that you want is presupposed, sometimes in brackets, in the question that you ask. Mm -hmm. The answer that you want is presupposed in the question that you ask. Mm -hmm. Now that relates very much so to the open and closed question paradigms. If you ask a closed question, you're going to get a closed answer. You're going to get a yes or no unless it's multiple choice. Yes? Mm -hmm. You ask an open question, you're going to get more information. You ask a leading question, you're going to lead the person towards that answer that you want. All right? Um, the other thing that you mentioned was that I, uh, that I need to uh, comment on was one of the mistakes that we all make, which is I totally understand the problem, which is, what you, which is your precursor to the question. Be careful of saying that. Because the other person in their mind is probably thinking, no, you don't. How could you possibly understand everything about the problem? Okay? It's fine to say, I hear what you're saying, but it's still not that, wet, that good a vocabulary to use. It's better to do a recap on what the person is saying, such as, um, let, me, to, to, let me just paraphrase what I believe you told me. So you're saying, Jim said this, Jane said that, and this was the result. Am I correct? <coughs> Am I correct is an open or closed question. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The worst thing you can do, considering that as an example, is to say, I totally understand how you feel, I understand the problem entire, entirely. How could you possibly, you weren't there. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, think of it in the context of someone who has never been through the circumstances of the other person saying to them, I know what it's like to be in your shoes. No, you don't. Make it even more extreme. You're now visiting a cancer patient. I know what you're going through. No, you do not. Unless you've been through cancer and survived. What if you're having your personal experience? Then justify it. Mm -hmm. then, like, then you use because. Personal experience. You can, you can do. Justify it before asking the question. So you'd say, okay. um, and I would, I, would, I would advise that you would say, I believe that I do. Then you empathise, as opposed mm -hmm. to I totally, I totally understand what you're saying. Or I understand the problem in its entirety. Mm -hmm. What you could say instead is, I think that I understand where you're coming from because this once happened to me two years ago when, and then you elaborate. Mm -hmm. Therefore, how, such a precursor, how can I help you, how can I work with you to resolve this problem? Mm -hmm. Yes? Do you see how that's much softer and more, more, more acceptable than saying, I totally, understand, I, I totally understand everything that's going on in your head right now. I totally understand your entire emotional experience. It's impossible to do that. So we have to be careful with these throwaway phrases, mm -hmm. yes? In order to make sure that we don't then get into conflict because then you've got another course coming called conflict management. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I keep warning myself not to do sales pitches, but that's my, that's my only one. Right. Um, closed questions. So a closed question would elicit Yes or no. Yes or no, unless it's multiple choice. <clears throat> okay, so some examples of closed questions would be what before I start writing? On the board. Are you hungry? Sorry? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Put it in the context of a negotiation. Keep it contextual. Do I understand you right that we are talking about like salary increase? 
Good. Mm-hmm. Keep in mind, by the way, you still need to ask closed questions as well as open. So what you do, think of it, let's just uh, try and draw it so we've got some illustrations going on here. Okay, so this is you, this is the other person. Your job is, with, a, with an open question, is to get them to open up so you've got all this information coming at you. Mm-hmm. As opposed to just linear um, uh, and limited information. You want as much information out of them as possible and then you can decipher and discriminate amongst everything being received as to what is the salmon and what's the red herring. <coughs> okay? So get rid of all this stuff. This stuff here is relevant. This you can get rid of. Mm-hmm. Then you can do the paraphrase, which is what I've just said. So just to make sure I understand you, let me just paraphrase what I think you've told me. Mm-hmm. Before we can go any further, break down that sentence structure. Just, and you tell me what it means to you, just so that I understand you, that first phrase, what does that say to you? If I'm, the, if I'm negotiating with you, you're the other party, you've just told me all this information, mm-hmm. and I say to you, just so I understand you, what does that imply? It shows, it shows that you empathize the other party, and you really could do follow the conversation. You are summarizing you are and concluding. Inter- you are interested to understand. That's the purpose of the entire sentence. That one phrase, just so I understand you, what does that imply? To summarize. It says that I want to understand you, doesn't it? Show interest. Yeah. You can be interested, but you don't really necessarily care if you understand, which means you have the free will to infer and misinterpret. Mm-hmm. But you're attentive in this case. You show that you paid attention, or you at least put an effort to pay attention to the other party. It goes deeper than that. It's not just a case of, I want to prove to you that I was paying attention. Mm -hmm. It's a case of, I really want to understand what's at the deepest core of the problem that you are trying to tell me. Yes, It's, it's not about you, it's everything about them. 